Hello guys. Welcome to India 360. I am your host Kusbuo. Today we will discuss about Raja Parba that is celebrated in Odisha. Odisha is a land of numerous festivals. Nature is revered and her blessings are celebrated in multiple ways in the state. Most festivals in the state have religious significance and have their own set of rituals. However there are also festivals that are secular in nature and are celebrated in reverence of nature and natural events. One such festival is Raja which is celebrated in acknowledgement of man's gratefulness to nature. What is Raja Parva? Raja is a festival of fertility, creativity, and positivity. Celebrated on the first day of Asad, Raja ushers in monsoon that lends productivity to the land. It is celebrated over a period of four days in which people in engage in amusements, fun, and sports. It is primarily a celebration of girls and women who symbolize productivity in the human context. Apart from girls, it is a festival of the farmers who brace up for the next cropping season from the day of Raja. It is essentially a festival of harvest held with the advent of monsoon in June, that inaugurates and welcomes a nourishing harvest through the year in Orissa. The biological symbolism of this event comes from the, the moistening of the sun-dried soil with the first showers of the monsoon in June, thus making the it ready for productivity. Why Odia people celebrate Raja? To celebrate the advent of monsoon, the joyous festival is arranged for three days by the villagers. Though celebrated all over the state it is more enthusiastically observed in the districts of Kadak, Puri Badrak, and Balasur etc. Under mythological terms, it is believed that the mother goddess Earth goes through three days of menstruation during the first three days of this festival, and by the fourth day is given a ceremonial bath. The term Raja pronounced as Raja comes from Rajaswala which refers womanhood, it is a metaphor for fertility. Rituals and customs, the first day is called Pahilai Raja, Prior Raja, second is Raja, Proper Raja, third is Basi Raja, Past Raja, fourth is Sesha Raja, Last Raja. According to customs, for the first three days, all women are given rest and men abstain from all form of agricultural work. During these three days, people desist from plowing, plucking flowers, scratching earth, etc., anything that would hurt Mother Earth. Significantly, it is a festival of the unmarried girls, the potential mothers. Women and young girls take rest from all household work. They enjoy on tree swings, play indoor games, and adore themselves with new saris, jewelry, and alta. The very first day, they rise before dawn, do their hair, anoint their bodies with turmeric paste and oil, and then take the purificatory bath. They don't walk barefoot, do not scratch the earth, do not grind, do not tear anything apart, do not cut, and do not cook. During all the three consecutive days they are seen in the best of dresses and decorations, eating cakes and rich food at the houses of friends and relatives, spending long cheery hours, moving up and down on improvised swings, sing Raja songs with extempore. As all agricultural activities remain suspended and a joyous atmosphere pervades, the young men of the village keep themselves busy in various types of country games, the most favorite being Kabadi. Competitions are also held between different groups of villages. All night's Yatra performances or Gotipua dances are arranged in prosperous villages where they can afford the professional groups. Enthusiastic amateurs also arrange plays and other kinds of entertainment. Poda pith a special variety of cake prepared out of recipes like rice powder, molasses, coconut, camphor, ghee etc. The size of the cake varies according to the number of family members. Cakes are also exchanged among relatives and friends. Many types of items like chakulai pitha, chunamutar tarkari, monso ihala, mitha, mungagunta, suji kakara, manda pitha, puda pitha, chunchi putra pitha, puli pitha are prepared in raja and pan of course how can i forget that 
The social gathering of young mass as they return to their village in Raja Holiday, Beauty and Grace scattered by Odia girls, the young boys of village keep themselves busy in various types of games, competitions are held between two or many groups of village, arrangement of Nataka and Yatra in various places swings like Rama Doli, Charki Doli, Pata Doli, Dandi Doli etc. and specially Raja foods like Pota Pitha and Tasty Raja Panna provides a happy and joyful atmosphere throughout the town or village. Happy Raja!